dear students in online classes of maths we were in unit 9 that is geometry right in last video you have already seen some basic terms of geometry that is line line segment point ray point of intersection and also about angles in today's video we are going to learn about open and closed figure polygons triangles and their types okay so first we will start with open and closed figures first we will see open figure okay see these figures it it begins here and ends here right it begins from here and ends here this figure begins from here and ends here and this figure begins here and ends here so what is an open figure a figure that does not ends and begins with the same point is called open figure okay see this figure it begins here and ends here that means it is not beginning or ending at the same point both the points are at different place right so these type of figures are called open figures whereas closed figures what are closed figures they begin and ends at the same point like this is the point it begins from here and ends at the same point right here also this is the point and it begins and ends at the same point for example this is the point here and it begins from here and ends at the same point here also it begins from here and ends at the same point so these type of figures which begin and end at the same point are called closed figures okay also we have simple closed figure a figure which does not intersect itself okay a figure which is made up of line segment and it does not intersect itself is called simple closed figure okay now we will see polygons what are polygons now a simple closed figure formed of three or more line segment is called a polygon okay a figure which is made up of three or more than three line segment are called polygons for example this this is a triangle it is made up of three line segment okay this is also a polygon and this figure this figure is made up of four line segment so this is also a polygon any figure which is, any closed figure which is made up of three or more than three line segment are called polygons let us know more about these polygons and its types by this video polygons we can form different shapes by enclosing them with line segments on all sides such closed figures are known as polygons polygons have different names depending upon the number of line segments they use here we look at the following types of polygons they are triangle quadrilateral pentagon hexagon heptagon octagon nonagon and decagon now we will learn more about the each polygon one by one in details we take three pieces of plastic and join them to form a towel hanger we have created a triangle a triangle is a polygon made up of three line segments it is the smallest polygon possible we use four pieces of carved wood to create a photo frame we have created a rectangular photo frame a rectangle is a four sided polygon it is made up of four line segments look at this image of us army headquarters it is known as pentagon as it has five sides a five sided polygon is called a pentagon here is a clock let us provide its borders 
we have a border of six line segments for the clock. A hexagon is a polygon made up of six line segments. Let us create a wall hanging using seven straws. The rainbow wall hanging with seven line segments is ready. A seven sided polygon is called a heptagon. This is the image of the ceiling of a chapel in Germany. It has eight sides. An octagon is an eight sided polygon. So now we know a polygon is a flat figure, meaning it is a plain figure or two dimensional figure only. Also, polygons are closed figures, which means they have three or more line segments. You know, most of the common shapes are polygons, which we see in our day-to-day -day lives, such as this square and also the rectangle, the triangle, the star. So that was all about polygons. Your next topic is triangles. What are triangles? A polygon bonded by three line segments is called a triangle. Okay, its figure is like this. It has three line segments. So one, two and three. You can name it as A, B and C. It has three angles also. Angle A, angle B and angle C. It has three line segments like A, B. B, C and C, A. So, it has three line segments. Okay. Now, its types. It has, according to its size, it has three types. First one is equilateral triangle. Second one is isosceles triangle. And third one is scaling triangle. Let us know more about these types of triangles. Triangles are polygons with three sides. See? One, two, three. But there are different kinds of triangles and we classify them by the length of their sides. Using this classification, we get three types of triangles. Isosceles, equilateral and scalene. In equilateral triangles, all the sides are the same length. Can you see how it's formed? Good. So this triangle is equilateral because its three sides are exactly the same. In an isosceles triangle, two sides are the same length and one is different. See how it's formed? Great. So this is an isosceles triangle with two equal sides and one different one. And finally, let's look at a scalene triangle. All three sides are a different length, see? Easy, eh? A scalene triangle is the one with three different length sides. None of its sides are equal. Maybe if they didn't have such strange names, it'd be easier to remember them. So let's look again, just so we don't forget. All triangles have three sides. And depending on the length of their sides, they can be classified like this. An equilateral triangle, all three sides are equal in length. An isosceles triangle, two sides are the same length and one is different. And a scalene triangle, all three sides are different in length. Easy, right? Now see what all things you have to write in your notebook. Your first heading will be open and closed figure. Okay. In that first one is open figure. The definition is a figure that does not begin and end at the same point is called open figure. Okay. And draw these three figures also. Next one is closed figure. What are closed figure? A figure that begins and ends at the same point is called closed figure. Draw this three figure. Next one is a closed figure which does not intersect itself is called a 
simple closed figure these are simple closed figure draw the figure also next one is polygons its definition is a simple closed figure formed of three or more line segments is called a polygon this is its definition next is a polygon with three sides is called a triangle draw the figure also next a polygon with four sides is equal is called a quadrilateral draw the figure next a polygon with five sides is called a pentagon draw the figure a polygon with six sides is called a hexagon a polygon with seven sides is called a heptagon a polygon with eight sides is called a octagon so draw all these figures along with this definition in your notebook in next page page number 154 triangle next heading will be triangle a polygon bounded by three line segments is called a triangle draw its figure and write these these three line segments are called the sides of the triangle you can name it as the sides of a triangle are written as pq qr and rp the name of the triangle is triangle pqr the angles are angle p angle q and angle r the vertices are points p q and r okay write this in your notebook next is types of triangles triangles are of three kinds according to their sides first one is equilateral triangle this is its figure and write the definition a triangle in which all the three sides are equal in length is called an equilateral triangle okay draw this figure with all the three sides equal next one is isosceles triangle draw the figure with two sides same and one side will be different a triangle in which two of its sides are equal in length is called an isosceles triangle and last one is scalene triangle draw the figure with all the three sides different a triangle in which all the sides are of different length is called a scalene triangle this much you have to write in your notebook now your homework is to write all the definitions along with their figures in your notebook and send it to me so this much is all in today's video i hope you all have got this three topics until then take very good care of yourself thank you